Every Wednesday, we interview the Kenosha of the Week in partnership with the team at Kenosha.com. There are people doing great things in our community. Our Andrea Williams caught up with this week's Kenosha of the Week, Trey Meyer. Thanks, Julia. As you mentioned, I'm joined by this week's Kenosha of the Week, Trey Meyer. You may know him better as King Elvis, the Kenosha Kingfish mascot that went viral in a football drill against Green Bay Packers running back A.J. Dillon. You're raised in Kenosha, you graduated from Kenosha Indian Trail High School, and now you've gone viral in every sense of the word, Trey. Uh, let's start off by really taking a look at that video and you can tell us exactly what happened there. Yeah, uh, so basically, yeah, here it is right here. Um, you can see it hits me real hard. That was not, that was not, that was not an easy hit right there. Um, so basically I get up, uh, I think he's gonna take it easy on me. <laughs> and you know, I think he's gonna like, gently push me down to the ground and then boom, he hits me. Uh, my head comes flying off. Um, got, I get the wind knocked on me a little bit. Um, and the first thing I think of is, oh my goodness, a bunch of, a bunch of kids in the crowd just saw a headless Elvis <laughs> laying on the ground. So I gotta get up. I beeline straight for my head and um, get my head back on. Um, but yeah, nothing's been the same since. So Nothing has been the same since. And we watched that numerous times, so we could just <laughs> feel it kind of, you know. But being that the mascot's name is Elvis, I think it gives a whole new meaning to being all shook up. <laughs> Would you agree? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how has your life changed? I mean, you said things have been different since that very moment. So you've got about 7 million views on Twitter and you've been recognized now uh, locally, nationally, and even internationally. Fill us in on that. It's been, it's definitely been a crazy experience. Um, so I've been on countless in a interview shows, radio shows, um, podcasts, um, just a new experience for me. And um, I mean, it's, it's just it's just been crazy, crazy all around. So it's a little overwhelming, I will say, but um, I'm just trying to soak it all in right now. And um, I definitely kind of feel bad for these celebrities that kind of have to go through this all the time. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, a, a week of this is, is, is cool, but anything beyond that is probably like, whew, th this might be a little much. So you have a whole nother respect for the whole Hollywood aspect of living, right? <laughs> 100%, yeah. Yeah, so really, I, I want to know, uh, for you, being a mascot, you do a lot of cool things. I think Elvis has a chance to zip line. You interact with a lot of cute and cool kids. But by far, has this been the most amazing moment for you? I, I'm not sure if I'd say amazing. <laughs> Wrong but word. <laughs> it's, definitely, it's definitely one of the more one of the more cool mind boggling moments. moments. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that, that, that's probably a better word. Uh, yeah, it's it's been one of the cooler moments that I've had so far. This is just my first year being the mascot. So yeah, going down the zip line is awesome. Um, doing uh, in game events. Um, Elvis has gone streaking on the field before. That was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, this has definitely been been the craziest thing that's happened so far. Yeah, you weigh about 150 pounds. AJ weighs about 250 pounds. Has AJ or anyone from the Packers reached out to see how you're doing or anything along those lines? Um, yeah, so after after the whole thing happened, like back, like behind the scenes, he he was he was like, I'm sorry, you know, he asked if I was okay. Um, I got an autograph, a picture from him and Jordan Love. So um, yeah, we're we're all cool there. Um, but you know, so, some tickets would be nice too. So. <laughs> not too late you just put that out there right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for somebody that's watching you I mean this is a summer job you decided to be a mascot and it landed in a viral moment how did you land this particular job being Elvis yeah so I was just looking for um, a job over the summer I've always wanted to work in sports and um, I live super close to the stadium I live like five minutes away from the stadium so I was like this this will be the perfect thing, mascot performer. And so, yeah, I, um, I applied, uh, I interviewed, and I, I got the job. So I um, do the Elvis gig on uh, weekends. I love how you're committed to what you are doing. And to wrap it all up, Trey, what does it mean to you to be this week's Kenosha of the Week? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I did not know that Kenosha of the Week was the award. Uh, but now that I found out about it, it's, it's, it's an honor to be Kenosha of the Week. Um, and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to uh, 
more other recipients of Kenosha Louis from, from now on. So yeah, it's, I love it. Thank you so much. Again, this week's Kenosha of the Week, Trey Meyer. We thank you for joining us to talk on the news at four. And congratulations again on being named Kenosha of the Week. Well deserved, my friend. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.